I told you. I literally. You want me to fuck I, <laughs> I literally just told her. I'm like, I might. There's like, I've been training every day. Been getting my miles every day. Been hitting back every day. Nobody wants this work, man. I keep telling these players, if you're gonna, if you're gonna follow this sport and cover this sport, you need to know this sport. So I'm in the gym every day, hitting the bag, just hitting it. Man, when I used to fight in the Golden Gloves, I'm just kidding. All right, let's do the interview. <laughs> How do I start this interview, Miss <laughs> Kayla Harrison? Ready? I don't know, ask me about my weight, like everybody else. No. UFC 300, my good friend, Miss Kayla Harrison. Can I get the mantra, please? Kayla Harrison, this is my day, this is my purpose. I'm not afraid to win. Three hard rounds, one round at a time, one minute at a time, one exchange at a time, one breath at a time. Kayla Harrison, UFC champion. Y'all know me, still the same OG, that's my mantra. Oh, well that's pretty short and sweet. <laughs> it's pretty lame, eh? <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Y'all know me, still the same OG. Oh my God. Kayla Harrison, listen, Yeah. before we get too deep into fighting. Let's do it. I'm gonna take this series re real quick. Let's do it. Let me shake your hand. Because it's pretty fucking cool to look at us, right? Uh -huh. I mean, we we talked on shit. What did we do? A Zoom call when we first interviewed? Yeah, we long did a time Zoom ago. Call, long time right? ago. Yeah. I came to ATT. You were too busy at the time. You were too cool for me. It's fine. No, this guy didn't even have a real job. Okay. First of all, I first started talking to you. You were just making funny memes. And I was like, oh, will you make me a meme or whatever? And he made these funny, funny, funny clips um, of me, like, what was it? like? Fake when, interviews. When you, yeah, the fake interviews. Yes. And then, like, with, when you get your black belt for the first time. It was just, it, I have to go dig those up, dude. They're so good. And then you started, like, really pursuing this as your dream. And then you hit me up and said, oh, I got this opportunity. What do you think? Blah, blah, blah. And now look at you, dude, like running the whole space, taking and, over. And thank you for that because she did hook me up with somebody very big in the game who gave me some advice. Mentor, like right? a little advice, yeah. Who I happened to run into at the Nate Diaz press conference last night, which oh, is really, really cool. Did yeah. you say hi? Of course. Good. 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 Kayla Harrison, how are we feeling, man? Like, I feel can, great. can we can we go again? Can I'm we just ready. can we put you back in there I tonight? I mean, if you don't make me make weight, yeah. <laughs> Are you, how tired of you are the questions about your weight? Like how tired um, are you? Scale of one to 10, how tired are you? I'm at about a seven. I mean, I give every, listen, I get it. Cause to be honest with everyone, I really didn't know if I could make weight or not. Like I believed I had hope and like, I just really felt called like this was where I'm supposed to be. But I haven't weighed 135 pounds since I was 16 years old, so. <laughs> it's fair, fair play that everyone was concerned. I wasn't concerned. Well, thank you. I am a professional, and I have a very good team around me who has just been phenomenal. Um, Eric Pena from Pena Performance, Platinum Plate, Dar Hedrick, like, they work together so well. My coaches, my team, my family, everyone has been all in on this, and I, I mean, I just, I'm really grateful for the life I live. Shout out to K-Rock. K-Rock, K-Rock's here right now. Dude, you should see my room. It is, I've got like Doritos, Oreos, chocolate cake, champagne, every, she went out and like, I can't wait to get back to my room. Kayla Rocco being another up and coming prospect in the sport of MMA. You'll, you'll be seeing her. You'll be see, I hope they open up her weight class here. It'd be great. So can we just put the title on you now or? I think it'll look real good. Do I still have abs? <laughs> I think it'll look real good right there. Kayla Harrison, anything to add before we get out of here? Before you double um, double leg me or treat me like a heavy bag or? Dude, I do you want to hear? Well, I mean, I I'm, I fucked up. If oh. I had gotten the if I had gotten the finish in the first round, Mike Brown was gonna let me do a power slap in front of the oh. whole gym. Right? I know. On Mike Brown? Yeah, like we because we were at the PI the other day, working out, and we saw this guy practicing his slap on the thing. And so we made a bet that if I get a first round KO, TKO, or he said it, it, a sub wouldn't count, but if I got a first round KO or TKO, he would let me do one power slap to the face. But for the belts, we're gonna, we'll do an even better bet. Anything, any, anything other than that, um, I just wanna thank my team. I wanna thank my God. I wanna thank you for giving me a platform to speak. I think it's really important that we have uh, journalists and a place to share our message and spread 
stuff. Also, check out thefearlessfoundation.org if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, that's it. Congratulations, Sean. Thank you.